Hey everyone, welcome back to another Monday Plan With Me. So this week I'm planning from October the 16th through to the 22nd. And I've got a kit here that's a free printable. Now this kit was an amazing find. There are six pages. I couldn't believe how much there was included in this kit, but I'm going to leave the link for it down below in the description box so you guys can go and have a look because honestly you could use this kit for one, two, or even three spreads. I still had loads of stickers left over and I was just really pleased with this kit. It's from Planner Problems 101 and like I said, I'm going to leave the link down in the description box. The last page right here is the kit sampler. So she's given you lots of different deco here that are all in the same colors as the rest of the kit as well as glitter headers. So I'm gonna start as usual with the washi. I'm gonna go it, go it. <laughs> I'm gonna put it along the top. And there's also some thinner washi as well, which I'm going to put along the bottom bit as well. Now, uh, the paper that I've printed this on was some gloss paper that I was just trying out because I wanted to introduce gloss paper in my shop. But I really don't like this paper and you'll see as I kind of go through it, it does scratch off only in some places it's like really weird and when I try to write on top of it, it does scratch off the colouring. So that's why it's like that, it's nothing to do with the kit or anything, it's the paper that I've used. So I'm just putting the dates along the top and I'm just gonna trim off what's left at the top, what's overhanging, and then I can get on and go in day by day. So like I said, this will definitely do one, two or more spreads. So if you wanted to just use the Halloween themed pattern ones in here, and then you'd still have lots of the plain solid ones for a different spread that's not necessarily Halloween. So going in day by day, I started with a today header and then put a heart checklist down and just write things that I obviously wanted to get done um, on Monday morning. I've also got some orders that I need to post out. So for that, I used a solid half box and just wrote down post orders. All the Halloween themed stickers that I've still got in my shop will still be available to buy up until Saturday the 28th, I think it is, of October, um, because you should still be able to get it if you live in the UK before Halloween week comes around. So moving on, I just put down my half box and then I put one of the large icons that come in with this kit. There are loads of large icons, which is kind of nice because I've never used them before. So I used the book one at the bottom to mark down for homework. And then I was just writing my TV program down and this is where I realised it was scratching off. So I just went and changed pens to a more kind of inky pen, if you like. I didn't have any permanent marker pens because I think that would have worked fine and it wouldn't have scratched off any of the kind of colouring. So I just wrote down that I'm watching The Strand. It's a new program that I'm watching on Now TV. And then for when Tuesday, sorry, I put down a Today header and a piece of washi with a half box that I flipped up onto its side because it's my niece's birthday. So I just used the big balloons that came with the kit as well. Underneath, I put my to-do header and I use a page flag with a planner on top because I want to try and film my mock spread that should have gone up already. It's just that I'm really behind this week. So I want to definitely do that on um, Tuesday. It was a toss up whether to do my mock spread on a Monday and then this one to come out on Tuesday, but I thought we'll stick with the Monday plan with me because that makes more sense. So underneath there, I put another page flag with a laptop sticker on because obviously I need to edit the mock spread. I put my full box down and then my little things header and I've just got the TV program on which is the strand. The pen actually wrote really well on this one, it didn't scratch any of the colouring off so it's just really weird this paper, sometimes it scratches it off and sometimes it doesn't. But for Wednesday I just put down my today header and I put a little thing with a movie clapper on because obviously I need to upload the mock plan with me so that'll be going up on Wednesday morning. And I also needed to write down to answer comments. I've been so bad lately, I haven't really answered anyone's comments, I haven't been on social media in general. I've just kind of had my head down working really hard kind of behind the scenes on things that had to be done to my shop. So I definitely want to set aside some time to answer everyone's comments. So if you get a reply from me and you commented on my video days ago, then just don't be surprised. I'm trying to catch up, so I will answer you. Underneath, I put a large coffee cup, which also come with the kit. And then I've got my to-do section. I'm designing new poppets. So I just put a half box down with one of the larger laptop icons. And then to block off some time, because obviously that takes a little while, I'm just blocking it off with my full box and then putting my little things down. I've got two TV programs on. I've got The Strand, obviously, and Teen Mum 2. I've started watching it. I used to watch Teen Mum 
Uh, well, you can't really beat Teen Mum OG, but I have started watching Teen Mum right from the beginning, so that's going to last me a long time. For the Thursday, I put down my today header and then I just done my checklist. I realised I was writing in the wrong pen to begin with, so I just switched back to my normal pen. And these are things that I just want to get done on Thursday morning. I decided this week that I wouldn't use any poppets because I think the kit has got enough deco and enough icons for me not to be able to use character stickers to kind of fill in gaps. So that's why you're not going to see any poppets. I think this is the first time that I haven't used poppets since I opened my shop. I put a half box down because I need to work on my secret project which should be coming out at the end of this month. As long as everything stays on track then it will be available at the end of the month and obviously I will show you guys. Then I'm moving on to my little things. I have got three TV shows on today and I'm also putting a label down at the bottom so I can write down homework. So the TV programs that I have got on are Teen Mum 2, The Strand and Scandal and then obviously I'm going to write homework down in the bottom one and then for Friday I started with a today header and I used one of the icons from the sheet the large icons so I've got to do a food shop so I used the food shop one and I also want to do a little bit of printing and cutting in the morning so I just used the printer icon and then underneath there I'm just going to put down my to do header because it's new release day and I'm using a half box just to write down new release and then I'm also going to stick one of the heart icons at the top. Underneath I want to make sure that I've got my camera already and charged under already for when we go out. So I'm using a quarter box with a page flag and I'm using one of the large camera icons just to write down that I need to charge my camera. And that's because we are going to be going out. I'm taking the children out to a big Halloween show that's in a big hypnodrome place. So it should be really cool. It's like a live Halloween show. So it's got lots of dancing and just lots of Halloween style thing so I'm just writing down the time that we're going I'm waiting for the email confirmation with my tickets so I'm not going to put the time down until I've double checked it on my emails so for the weekend I just started with the weekend banner and then underneath I just put down a half box because I want to make sure that we go out we're going to be going out on a family walk so I just wanted to put that at the top and block off some of the time so I just used my full box and then underneath I just put my to-do header because obviously I do have some things to do on the Saturday which is housework and some laundry including washing their uniforms. So I use the large icons of the Hoover for housework and then the large icon of the washing machine for laundry and uniforms. Then I've got some little things so I just put my little things header down. I've got a TV show that we are watching which is The Strand and then obviously they've got some homework to do and I'm hoping to sort out a load of clothes again which I will just donate everything to a local charity. I try to do this as often as I can and then for Sunday I need to film my plan with me so I put this down and I realised I wrote edit instead of film so I'm just switching that out for another quarter box and obviously the planner sticker was from the large icon sheet and I just wrote down film plan with me and to block off the time again I'm just using a full box. Then I have got my to do section which is my usual to do on a Sunday and I'm using one of my new poppet checklists which are already pre-written. Uh, these are available in my shop as well so if you are a mum then this is a lot easier than keep writing it down every week. <laughs> then I want to edit the plan with me that I had filmed in the morning so I just put that down at the bottom and also I need to paint my nails which I put at the bottom but I need to remember to paint my nails before I do a plan with me so then they look a lot nicer than how they look sometimes so I just put that down at the bottom but I will probably do that in the morning and then moving on to the sidebar I used two pieces of the gold washi just to extend the full box which says trick or treat but I didn't realize that it was a little bit longer than usual so I just moved the piece of washi down underneath there I just put my I think there was something on my planner which is what I was wiping. I put a habit tracker along with another piece of the gold glitter washi and then I put a this week header with a short checklist because there's a few things that I want to get done this week. It doesn't matter what day it gets done as long as it gets done this week so I was just going to put them into my sidebar. I put a next week header along with an ombre checklist and there's so many checklists I know I haven't used any in my actual spread but there are a lot and then at the bottom there I just put another full box along with a glitter header and here I'm just putting in my Halloween countdown stickers along the bottom. 
I'm so sorry this is out of focus, like my plan is out of focus. I didn't realize that I hadn't focused you guys in, um, but I'm just putting the dates along the top. Here's everything that I've got left from this spread. And as you can see, I've got so many stickers and they're pretty much all solid colors. So I can easily do another spread using these leftovers. So I would definitely recommend going and checking her out. Like I say, I will leave the link in the description box. That's it for this week's spread though. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then please make sure you give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the bell notification and that way you'll be notified of any of my uploads. I hope you guys have a really good week and I will see you all on Wednesday. Bye guys.